Hey everybody, it's Jen here from Pure Juicer. I've got a special, special surprise here today. Um, and it's not this juice, it's something even better. We are going to juice today with Creative Vegan, my very favorite person, whoops, Shanique. Um, and we are going to do some red cabbage. We did this back when we first got started, we made red cabbage juice. Um, this is red cabbage, it's also green cabbage. We are celebrating cabbage day a couple days early. Um, but yes, we're going to make her favorite recipe today. Um, and it is such a beautiful juice. So let's see, I am going to see if I can add, there she is. Oh my gosh, that worked so easy. That was, hopefully, so we'll see. She's, she's logging in here right now. Hey, Kimmy, how's it going? We're all getting started. Um, I, okay, let me see. Yep. I'm, okay, I have to, to put my camera on. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I got so excited. I made a little bit of juice already. So. Oh, nice. Oh, there you are. I see you. Look, look. Let's see if I, I can. I have my earphones on. Oh, yay. <laughs> now, I hope I can see you big enough. Kimmy, can you see Shanique big in a big screen? Because I just see her in a little screen. So I'm hoping that we can see you in a big screen. Um, what do you I've never, I've never been live um, with someone here. So I don't know how to. Um, let me see if I know how to do like cut the screen in half. Um, what, yeah, let's try and do that. I want to make you. I want to make you bigger. I want you to be the primary today. Uh, let's see if I can recharge gifts video. No, bigger. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love that, actually. That's really fun. Yes. That's super fun. Okay, Kimmy, is that better? And Kimmy, do you want to join us? You can hop on, too. Oh, my God, we can all just be your fans today. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay. Um, perfect. Well, this is actually exactly way, the way that I wanted. I wanted you to be... Um, the center, I am just so grateful to have you on here with us. You're like Aww. one of my favorite people. So it's just so nice to have you here. It's always a pleasure to even talking to you, um, Jen. And I've learned so much from you, uh, especially like, you know, you make so many amazing things with the Pure Juicer. I'm like, oh my gosh, you need my name. <laughs> You're so creative. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's right. That's right. You've got creative in your name. Well, yes. you, know, you inspire me. And, you know, I also know and I hear from a lot of people that um, that the juicer is expensive, you know, so there's a part of me that's like, well, you know, let's, let's think beyond just juice then because um, because there's so many different things that you can do with a juicer. And plus I get bored kind of easily. And I grew up in a household where we were cooking a lot. So, um, yes. things like trying something completely different does not scare me. It kind of makes it fun. So, um, I'm glad a lot of them work out and I'm also glad that some of them are horrible disasters. So I'm glad <laughs> to say that we have a little bit of both. You learn, you learn from your mistakes. So yeah, yeah. It's always a good thing. I'm trying to remember, how we met and I'm trying to remember when you first saw Pierre because I believe you saw it on social yes um, 2021 I can't forget <laughs> so yes I've had a pair of I've, I saw you guys like since 2020 yeah but it wasn't until 2021 that's when I actually um got my pure juicer I was just like amazed by um pure just the press alone is just like awesome and the fact that it's like all stainless steel it, it's just like it, it's eye-catching you know yeah. and one recipe that really um blew my mind was the purple cabbage just the color exactly you pure juicer is the first person i ever saw that actually did purple cabbage and i'm like whoa that's so cool and then the color you yeah. know it's so vibrant and the health benefits also it's like amazing you know amazing for, good for good for the gut good, good yeah for gut health 
And I know someone, uh, I see Elias Kaylee saying, make me spaghetti. And it's kind of funny because actually the purple red cabbage, um, if you mix that with red apple cabbage. or even not, if you use the pulp, you can make the most beautiful colored pasta oh, nice. um, that is out there. So I know you're kidding, but actually we can totally make, make pasta and we could probably make spaghetti. It would even have a little bit of a beautiful red, uh, oh, reddish nice. gray color. So, ha -ha. Wow. Yeah. And um, I, I've seen you made, you've made pasta also with it, with the pure. Yes. Um, and it's actually really easy. And sometimes we put a little bit of juice in it too, um, just to make it stick together. But it's, it's literally just a little bit of oil, a lot mm -hmm. of flour, um, yeah. <clears throat> a little bit of the pulp and maybe a little salt. I mean, there's really so little involved and you can even make gluten-free if you want to and vegan if you want to. I know that it'll stick together better with egg, but I mean, okay. you and I both prefer, you know, looking for vegan options and maybe some cornstarch will help or, you know, tapioca starch or something will help to bind it for the vegan. I need to try that because you can, we did try one of the machines, the pasta machines and it worked, but it was, mm. uh, you know, it was, you're like, you know, hoping it would make it. So I think, I think that's a great idea. I'd love to try that too. Yeah, we've done that. And then we've used pulp in cookies. I don't know if you've tried the tiger nut or the almond flour from the milks or anything like that and done cookies. I haven't that. yet. No. Okay. 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 But you inspired me. <gasps> I, I do have, I have some Brazilian nuts, which I should try. Yes. Um, I, I, and, um, tiger nut, I don't have any tiger nut right now, but I could pick yeah. that up at the health food store. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kimmy said semolina flour too. Is that gluten free? Oh, okay. I don't know if that's gluten free or not. You'll, she'll chime in and she'll do that. Um, what else have we done? Well, we've also been playing with stage one of the juicer because that is something that works in ways that we weren't even expecting. Like we've made hummus and falafel. Yeah. Um, we make ice cream and nice creams out of them as well. Uh, With the jackfruit. I saw that one. <gasps> yes. Cause I yes. was researching, can you juice jackfruit? And the general consensus is a big hard no. Like there, it, there's just not enough juice in jackfruit. Juice, no. no, I normally blend my jackfruit. Or just eat it like that. I blend it with. You could make some like um, like plant based milk with the it with. You could make some like um, like plant based milk with the it with. You could make some like um, like plant based milk with the. So I, I I could join in. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it together. We have fun. fun. Kimmy, you're not the only one that can have fun here. You know. <laughs> Yay! Well, um, so we were going to do red cabbage. Sure. Do you want to do the red cabbage or do you want me to do red cabbage? Um, sure. I, I, we could do it together. Let's do I have perfect. some right here. Yeah. If you can see, can you see my station? Oh, no. Yeah. So I have some red cabbage. Um, I also have, I just put some fruits together. I have some key lime. I have some passion fruit, but I don't know if I'm going to add the passion fruit to it. Yeah. Um, so I have that going. And I also have some seeded grapes. Yum. So I, yes. So we're going to do that. I'm so jealous. I'm going to do that. And what are you going to do? Well, I have something a little a kind of simple. But then I was thinking, all right, so this is what I have. I have some apples. And then I have two different kinds of cabbage. The wheatgrass in with the, gr with the green cabbage. What do you think? That, that should be good. And the apple will kind of, because, you know, wheatgrass is strong. <laughs> no. So definitely. Yeah. Th that should be good. All right. So I'm going to use, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to do some wheatgrass with you with green cabbage and apple. Now I do have garlic. Okay. I made, um, I made this shot last week with arugula, um, wheatgrass, parsley, garlic and apple it was a red apple and it was actually so good it was like crazy crazy good and I loved that the garlic was kind of I could kind of taste it in the back of my yeah. mouth but it wasn't um it within 30 minutes it was gone whereas when you just chew raw cabbage it yes. gets lingers it lingers for days and I know this because my husband loves to eat raw garlic 
And okay. what I found yeah. was the best way to do the passion fruit was um, as I opened it up and then I kind of, with the slices of the pineapple, I kind of created a little tic-tac-toe in it. Oh, and okay. Poured, and then I poured the passion fruit in it and it just kind of went into those grooves. And then I oh, pressed nice. it. And oh, I okay. Poured, and then I poured the passion fruit in it and it just kind of went into those grooves. And then I oh, pressed nice. it. And it worked really, really well. You know what else I learned is, um, is that pineapple the majority of the bromelain which is really good for, um, for bruising and healing is um is that it's primarily in the core, in the core and did you know and, and on the outside and so, where and on the outside outside yes yes the yeah the skin yeah yeah have you ever juiced the outside of the skin um well I, I pressed it i pressed the skin yeah. with the pure juicer yeah but in jamaica we have this recipe where we boil the skin so it's like nothing gets um everything gets used in a way so yeah. we'll peel the skin yeah. um you know if it's organic pineapples i'll trust it here but yeah. you know back home we really don't use a lot of fertilizer or anything like that so yeah. you know we boil the skin and then we'll add a sweetener to it and ginger, of course. We'll boil the ginger with it and like spices, um, like you um, you can put cinnamon, you can put anything in there and then make a nice um, drink. Is it a drink? Is it cold or do you make it a tea? Huh. Well, it's first you have to boil it and then you cool it down to make like an iced tea. Oh, yum. Yeah. You know, I am going to do a shrub with pineapple, that sipping vinegar, and I'm going to grind everything through stage one. And yes. I'm going to um, do the outside in it, too, because that way it'll increase the surface area and that way you'll get that oh. bromelain. But the ones that I've seen is you're, you you put everything into the shrub. So I'll do pineapple. Um, I did rosemary, but I might try and do something a little more Bringy, maybe thyme or something else that's kind of got a good bite to it and ginger mm. uh, but I'm going to do the whole thing because I want the bromine yeah that sounds good yeah yeah sounds delicious <laughs> um one thing I did since I juiced the purple I was going to I'm going to clean stage one because I don't think I'm going to do purple again I'm going to let you own the purple okay so what that means is I'm going to clean my stage one out you can see that there's purple in there now I'm just going to rinse it really fast. Okay. What are you chopping at? It's the cabbage. Just the cabbage. <laughs> just chopping the cabbage. I didn't prep like you did. You're the pro here, so you know exactly. how I'm, I have not been live in so long, since last year. I've not been live on any platform. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, I'm so honored that you went live with me because I have so much fun with you and we have so much, we do so much together. We, I mean, this is going to be a great year. This is going to be yes, a really great year. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, and what I like about Pure, like you have all the accessories that you need. Look, look at this guys. You, you know, you have the apron, you have everything, the picture, the picture is 20% off, right? Right? Yeah. The picture's twenty percent off. Picture's twenty percent off. Yeah. They ha and now these are the new the new um the new kids on the block. <laughs> right? The glasses. And I love these glasses. I'm actually drinking some water from one of them right now. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Yeah, we're gonna come up with more as well. We've got some um, short shot glasses that we're gonna do because I love to make those those um, ginger turmeric shots. Um, and then the juicer itself is 15% off through the end of the month, yes. um, which is a phenomenal deal. The basic package. So um, basic package and then the, and then the stainless steel pitcher. So, yeah, I know we really, we really tried to put together all the things that we used. And as we were putting it together, these were all the things that I was buying because I wanted them and I, and I liked them. The other thing yes. that is so ridiculous is the scrub brush. And I don't know why I love it so much but I use it to prep vegetables. Like I love using this to clean yes. carrots. And then I love to use it to clean. Um, I have oh, my there it is. <laughs> I love to use it to scrub the cloths when I'm done with them too. It makes cleaning an absolute breeze. Definitely. Okay, let me show you this. I'm gonna show you guys a really quick trick. 
Um, and ignore my mess in the back. Actually, I have some compost in the back um, from the juice. But this is my easy way to clean the juicer. I'm always learning from Jen. Yep. Wow. So there we go. And the only piece I'll probably just clean a little more separately is the grid. Um, yeah. Anything else? Yeah, it's clean. I can show it to you if, if anyone's curious, but it's clean in there. So we're ready. We're ready for the color green on this end. <laughs> So another trick that Jen taught, told me is like sometimes like, especially with um, like cranberries, items like those, you could actually just load, load it up first, then you turn it on so you won't get that kickback. And I didn't know that, like I, I used to be so afraid to like start off, but I did learn that trick from Jen. It's a really good one. And the other piece about cranberries, because they are they're out of season now is that if you load up in the, in November, when they're still there, you can freeze them and they'll, you'll, you can juice them frozen. They work. It works. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's my favorite. That's how I did the peanut butter the other day when we made peanut butter. Yeah. I need to try that. Oh my God. It's so easy. If if my husband hadn't eaten the rest of the peanuts, I would make it for you right now. But I think he had to eat them all. <laughs> oh my gosh! She just she's just pouring water into stage one. Okay, I'm just reading what Kimmy wrote. Oh yeah, if you can't see me, oh that's okay. I'm uh, you know the most important thing is I want people to see to see you. This is so fun. I love that. Yeah. Yes. She, you must try the nut butter. Try the nut butter. I you will, know, Kimmy. You know, the cashew cashew nut is an amazing nut butter. Yeah. Because I like know that cream. there's, quite, there's a, quite a few allergies and stuff to peanuts. So if people can't eat peanuts, cashews, and I bet the Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts. And I also have um, um, pumpkin seeds because, yeah, so that that's the good for a lot of, you know, those nut allergies. So I, I could try that one also. Such a great idea. Pistachios, yes. Oh my gosh, I need to make a pistachio pesto. Um, I had that out one day and I'm sure, and I've made pesto um, with David in stage one and you can easily like grind up the, pes the basil and pistachios and garlic and whatever all in stage one using one of the smaller grids. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm okay. just going to turn this on. I'm going to juice my purple cabbage since you already did yours. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, good. I can't wait. And if there's right. any questions <laughs> for me, just go ahead and post them right. in while we watch. Yeah. Kind of what they're doing. I'll kind of walk through what they're doing. So if you hear me talking, I'll just be talking to the okay. good people. Yeah. yeah. So what Shanique is doing is she's putting in like it really only needs to be about this thin um you'll see a lot of places that have to be smaller but as long as they fit through the feed tube you can just push them right through Nikki is probably using either a 10 or an 8 grid plate i don't even know which one i'm using <laughs> i love it i, I love look. it i just place one in i feel like afterwards yeah you don't have to Usually um, 8, 10, and 12 are the juicing grids. Anything smaller than that is good for purees. Um, the pure is amazing for making baby food. Uh, it's also a phenomenal way to make either raw soup, because you can grind other like that raw. You don't have to roast them in order to make that happen. Um, are you putting anything else in with the red cabbage? Um, I'm thinking I made... I have the key lime, but should I um Yum. press the, I was just thinking I should just cut the key lime and press it. I, think I would. And you know what I've been doing lately is I'll just take the, the lime and I'll just kind of maybe take a little bit of the peel off and I'll just put it in there whole. Yeah. I'll press it you whole. You get a little bit of the zest. 
and that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but I've normally was slice we're slicing them in half and then pressing them. Um, or okay. you can just slice them into pieces and put it right on top of the red cabbage. Yeah, okay, we could do that. Yeah, just do that's that. That's easier. Yeah. Easy is a, I'm a fan of that. Um, while you're doing that, this is my little uh, wheatgrass. How cute. Sushi. This is, so this is how I'm going to juice it. I'm going to basically okay. put it in like that. And that's how this will go through. And then. Oh, I'll, you wrap I'll, the cabbage around it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. So if everyone, if, if you're just getting here, um, I've got Creative Vegan here with us. And we are using red cabbage. Uh, red cabbage is so phenomenal for you. It's good in so many ways, but of course the thing that I remember the most is uh, my, my friend and medical advisor for Pure. Uh, she said that it's good. I said, you know, it really kind of, you know, has a little smell to it. And she said, that's right. And it's good for the pooper. So red cabbage is really good for your digestive system, really good for your gut, for gut health. What are the things that you think about when you think of red cabbage and the health benefits? Um, that's the same, the same thing because, like, I don't know if we can say the C word here, but um, I'm also a registered nurse. And, uh, yeah, when I – we got hit first here in New York. And I since then I've had some digestive issues. And so the – Cabbage juice is really helping me with my gut issues. It really does. Did you have you tried doing aloe yet? Have you seen that aloe video? I I ha yes, I I didn't do it with the pure yet. I'm gonna try. You just put it which grid did you didn't use a grid, did you? you use a grid? I used it too. In fact, I can um add some aloe to this juice today so you can see it. Cause when I do the leaf, I only need a little bit. So this is the rest of my aloe is in um, just some trays. So I'll take a I'll take a couple pieces out, and then what I'll do is I'm just gonna grind it right into the juice because you can't yeah. juice aloe, but you can you can grind it with a number two grid. Okay, and, number two. Okay. Yeah. But I I would um, love for you to try that and see what you think, um, Dr. Ruhoy, who helped create the periodic table of juicing she juices aloe she includes aloe in her juice every day and the way that it's described is like what happens you know when you put it on a cut or a burn or whatever on the outside um and it heals it it that's pretty much what it does on the inside too so oh nice yeah yeah in fact i bet i could even do that or are you getting are you getting ready to press I'm I'm listening. I'm going to put some of actually I'm going to put some of the grapes also on top of here. Okay. Cause then what while you're doing that, what I might do is I'm gonna grab a number two grid because I do have that red cabbage. And maybe okay. I'll just put it directly into there. I can do a quick demo before I get it filled with red cabbage and wheatgrass. Actually, I think I just let me see. But yeah, I guess that's what I love about this juicer is it it really um, allows us to play with the seasons um, and with what we're craving, whether it's, you know, real food or or juices. It allows us to do creative things with pulp. Um, so I feel like it's it's such a great opportunity to truly play with your food. Uh, okay. Yeah, and it's good for the entire family because I saw you. Making dark dog treats with the with the um pulp, which was pretty I did. cool. I, did. I think that was one of the first things I saw you make. Like that was like super creative. Well, when I got my puppy the first week, I was juicing so much, and she was just so busy, busy that I gave her some carrots to nibble on, yeah. and then I gave her some juice and she drank it up. So I'm like, okay, maybe she'll like these crackers. And she did like oh, any golden yeah. retriever will eat anything, but oh, um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Doreen. Thanks for sharing the live. If you guys just got here, we're making, what is it? Red cabbage and grapes and lime, right? Yes. Yeah. He limes. Yes. He limes. I'm going to, I'm going to press it now. Okay. 
Look at the color, if you can see it. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the grapes, you just put the grapes in whole, right? Yes. Yeah. It's like such a rich color. So gorgeous. It's so, and I think adding grapes to the cabbage is a great idea, especially if you're trying to get this, you know, for your whole family to drink it, because it really does exactly. that, that's the, the smell. Although it smells like, like a fart, but it doesn't taste like one. It actually no, it tastes, doesn't. It actually tastes really good. It tastes good, yeah. Yeah, in fact, the green cabbage um, tastes wonderful. Um, I love putting apple with it. Um, Dr. Ruhoi does a juice with cabbage kale and broccoli oh i know it's actually surprisingly good it's very strong like you don't want to eat too much of it okay and so then you just grind grind the bro um, broccoli first grind the broccoli grind the kale yeah okay cool yum I know. I want to pour some out already. I keep on like, um, let me press one more time. Press once more. Okay. There's so much more juice left in here. I know. It's so satisfying to know that you're, you know what I love more than anything as I, as I get into this more is you just have complete control over how much juice you get. You know, if you want to press it again, you can, if you don't have time, you don't have to, it doesn't take long to do, but you're not, Let me just a little get the rest of the juice off the tray. No. I'm gonna pour it out. Yum. I mean, I still have so much more to juice, but I just want to show you guys how it looks already. I can't <laughs> I could, wait. I can smell the key lime. The lime is so good. It smells so, so good. good. And look at that color. Oh, that color is dreamy. And you can see what a difference. This one is a much darker purple, and that one is just glorious, glorious with the grapes. I bet the grapes yeah. lighten it up, and the key lime. Oh, I bet that tastes good. Cheers! Oh, okay. I'm gonna pour. Cheers. Let me do this. Um, let me do this really quick. I'm just gonna grind um, these pieces of aloe. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in with my two grid, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see this here. I'll try and get this kind of close and narrowed in. So you can just see, and I'll put this here. Yep, it's got a little purple in it, but that's all right. So this is just, it's frozen still, but okay. it's basically ground up. So I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put it into, into here. And that's it. That came from an actual leaf. Nice. Nice. Good. All right. Are we going to cheers these? Yes. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> this is so, so good. <laughs> so good. It's so good. I I have to say, I don't like the way that it smells, but I love the way it tastes. I can't even smell it right now. It's not, it's not as bad today. <laughs> I think when you leave it a little bit longer, mm -hmm. that's when it starts to smell. But... Yeah, key lime. You should. I I've never done the lime with the um rind on it, and it's so good. It's really yeah. good right now. Oh yeah. Oh, you did, that's the that. first time with the rind. Mm -hmm. um, good job. I was gonna show this you really good. my trick with lemon. Actually, I have two limes here. Why don't I do that? I'm gonna do this, and let me just um, put you right. 
I'm going to move this down just a little bit. Mm. It's really good. So Kimmy, I, yes, Kimmy says with the lime and grape, the smell tones down, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really does. So for lime, and you can do this with oranges. You can do this with lemons. Um, you know, we were always a little weary about citrus, but this is pretty much ready to go. Um, and all I'm going to do, I'm not even going to use a liner. I just love that I have limes in my refrigerator that I can do this. And so I have these two. And here it is. And this is how I'm going to do it. Okay. Like that. So let's go back over to the juicer. Let's see. Can you see it? Let's turn around. I'm just going to, I might run out, but I'll use this as my backup. Okay. And so I didn't use a liner for these. And I didn't cut them in half or anything. Doreen says, I can't wait to try that combo. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> so good. Hi, Doreen. Hi, Doreen. And then what I do here is I'm just going to flip this for a little greater pressure on these limes. And then I think we'll get even more juice. Yeah. And no pulp. No pulp. I know. That's one thing I like about the pure juicer because I really don't like juice with a lot of pulp. So it's like nice and smooth. And and you still get fiber because, you know, um, soluble and insoluble fiber. If you know about that, you know that you'll still um, get fiber. Yes, Kimmy says, silky smooth. So you still get all the nutrients um, that's in inside of the fruits and vegetable. You know, I, I keep bringing this story up, but I think it's amazing that, um, hold on a second. So, um, yeah, so this juice is like super good and it tastes like, if you think that you won't like the taste of cabbage juice, um, you definitely will because it really doesn't have a strong taste. The smell, it smells a little bit bad, but the taste is, it's like so refreshing. The I drink- changes it completely. Definitely, that too, yeah. Wow, that's really good. I like the aloe in there too. It's pretty good that way. I have to try that next time. Yeah, aloe is, um, and you can freeze it. I would probably set it out so it, you know, it's not, frozen when you mix it in but it's certainly yeah it, that line completely changed the color yes <laughs> thank you for yeah, that. I, like I love to, that i like to put the lime after just to watch the color change <laughs> yeah isn't that amazing <laughs> yes <laughs> so cool um any questions about that so silky smooth um i was gonna say something about fiber oh thank you i was gonna mention a story that's on our blog about one of our pure juicer family um, was talking about how one is amazing that she is juicing to help her uh, overcome a lot of these autoimmune issues that she was diagnosed with. She had a number of things that she was diagnosed with and she went out on a mission to um, cure herself and she juiced, she ate differently. Um, she was very strong with her faith uh, and basically reversed everything like went into the doctor and then she had nothing Nothing that was showing that she had any of those autoimmune issues, but but then she couldn't she couldn't um, put weight on, and she was juicing she was juicing two hundred ounces of juice every day and could not figure out how you know she was down to seventy nine pounds, and finally a friend of hers got her a pure juicer, 
And she was able to one, put weight on, which is amazing. She was the first way to like actually put weight on. And then second, she was actually able to decrease the amount of juice that she was drinking. So we are on a, you know, we are on our own mission to try and understand and do the studies of all of that. But it really does show you that the quality and my hypothesis is the soluble fiber that's in these juices and way that it's ground up does make a big difference. So definitely. Should we make that? Story is just amazing. It's not amazing. And she's such a beautiful person. Erica, it's overcome autoimmune is her um, handle on Instagram. I don't know what it is on TikTok, but she's a beautiful person and it's a beautiful story. We're just so grateful that, you know, the juicer could make that kind of a difference in her health. Now she's like vivacious and back to a healthy weight and she's got, you know, little meat on her cheeks and I love it. Yeah, that's great. Do you want me to do the wheatgrass before we before we head yeah. head out? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna. This is this is sort of my trick. Wheatgrass alone, um, you want to make sure you have a serrated cutter. Uh, that is what we found is the best. But um, I'm just gonna put this little. It looks like a little piece of sushi. Um, it's yeah. wheatgrass <laughs> with cabbage. Um, and let me go ahead. Oh, and it looks like I have some aloe in there too. I'm gonna marry it with some apple. Apple. Yes. yes. And then, um, and then I'm just going to prep a couple more. I think I'm just going to do a couple more of these uh, wheat grasses. So again, I just cut this fresh. I'm going to grab a piece of cabbage and I'm just going to kind of wrap it and prep it. I might do that with a few more. I have never done this before, so who knows? This could be the next greatest thing. Um, <laughs> Or it could be really awful. I will say I loved the wheatgrass with the parsley. And okay. um, so if this one doesn't work, I promise you the recipe that I did the other day does work. It works really, really well. So here's another. I really like using um, other things. I know purists will probably want to juice wheatgrass separate. I think in those situations, uh, you know, we need to try it and figure out if there's any other tricks to it that we can offer. Um, yeah. But know that there really are some great juicers out there specifically for wheatgrass. And if that's what you want, you might want to do it that way. So let me, I'm just going to cut the whole lawn here. And I think lime will probably go, go good with the wheatgrass soup. Mm, should I do another lime? I don't know if I have. Would no, no, I'm good. just saying in general, I think maybe, um, you know. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. So I've got a few, um, if you can see here, I've got a few, one, two, three, four. Um, and then I can probably just throw this other wheatgrass that's along the side. I'll just clean that up and add that as well. All right. Here we are. And let's go ahead and get started. Can you see me okay? Yes. All right. Here we go. do anything special with the aloe i like to soak the aloe in water a little bit just to get rid of the bitterness oh yeah it's, it's bitter that's a great <laughs> idea i've never but that, i think I'll, i would do that i mean it it has a lot of benefits because you know it is a laxative also so if you do have any issues um using the bathroom aloe is the way, the way to go <laughs> Yep. All right, we're getting this, we're moving this stuff through. I don't even think we'll need two cloths. I have two cloths here, but I think one is enough. Yes, um, yes, Kimmy, I soaked the aloe in water for about 15 minutes before, and it will get rid of the, the bitter taste. And I'll just strain it off and rinse it off, and then I'll just juice it. Uh, or I could, you could just eat it just like that, um, and it will really cut down on the bitterness. So that's that's my trick that I kind of use. 
and you'll still get get all the benefits of it. But um, it will be stronger and more potent if you do um, use everything, like if you don't rinse it off. So, yeah, I don't. Um, I haven't ever rinsed it like that. Um, no problem. But I think that's a great idea, especially for people getting started. Um, yeah. Adding the apple with with the apple, um, what did I put it? I put it with pear, Asian pear. Yeah. And you couldn't tell it was bitter at all. It okay. was amazing. Yeah. So just Asian pear, uh, and then um, and you know what else I put in there is I put in cardamom, just some, mm. some heart like a green pod. I just threw the green pod and the aloe in through the stage one, and I okay. just I just put it right directly into the juice, the spice and the aloe it was phenomenal the spice was um you know me i'm really into the spices right now it was yeah. amazing it's the time of year when you need that heat that warmness from the spices so kimmy said she um uh, she said the pear made it um made it delicious i just went overboard with the aloe <laughs> oh no <laughs> there we go yeah well then you just turn them into aloe shots and you make them last a little bit longer. Yeah. All right. So this is going to be quite a bit, you know, cabbage is so juicy. And then we've got, what else did I put in there? The wheatgrass and then the apple. Apples are really juicy too. If I'm only juicing apples, sometimes I'll strain them just because, you know, it's easier to do. Um, okay. Let's, let's give her a press. Let me lower this down pretty good and I'm going to actually just juice it right into this glass again it's wheatgrass green cabbage apple and that's it I think I'm going to do some more grapes. Oh, yeah. Do it. And they're re are they red, seeded, organic? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, well, I'm not sure if they're organic, but I know that they're red and seeded. <laughs> so if you, I just cut one open and you can see there's a yeah. seed right there. It's yeah. so hard to find um, um, seeded grapes here in um, New York. I don't know if you have that issue um, there in Washington. Yeah, I have a huge issue with it. Huge issue. So there, these are globe grapes and the globe gra grapes are the only ones that I could find with seeds. I don't know if like maybe, ooh, that's pretty. Not pretty? Yes. Ooh. Oh my gosh. How is it? This is phenomenal. Mm hmm. Oh, it's so good. Do you want me to pour it again? I have another. I'll, go yeah. and... I'll pretend like I'm pouring it for you and then I'll drink it for you. <laughs> when the juice is good, you can't you can't just have one. You have to have more than one, right? More than one shot. Yes. Yeah, so the last time I made this wheatgrass. I drank, uh, there were four shots and that was the one with garlic. And I drank, I gave my husband one and then I drank the other three. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So good. But next time, I, I definitely will try the wheatgrass next time. You know, this recipe that I made with just one of those things of wheatgrass and wrapping it in the outside leaves of the cabbage and the Greek <laughs> apple, it's, yeah. it's so fresh. It's so good. Here, I'll pour it again for you. Pretty. 
Grinding away. While she's not oh, let's look at the take a look at the pulp. Here's the pulp. And that is one apple, one thing of wheatgrass. Oh my gosh, Kimmy, you're not joking. My cells are dancing. <laughs> wheatgrass, apple, and cabbage. Amazing. And we've got Shanique making more red cabbage grape. Are you gonna do limes again too? If I'm gonna do which one? Limes. Oh, I forgot to put the limes in. <laughs> yeah, I should put some more. But the limes really made it taste really good. Yeah, yeah. And then I have um, some pea limes also. Oh yeah. My mom and dad grow Mexican limes down in Arizona. Oh, nice. They're little teeny ones and they're delicious. I've never had those. They're so good. I'd have to look for those. So what I love is add some of the um, key limes to the pulp. Nice. And just press it again. Doreen, that's a great question about wheatgrass and lemongrass. They're not the same thing. Um, wheatgrass is no. is really much more grassy, and lemongrass is um, it's almost it's almost like a twig. Um, we've actually made it. We've used it when we were making cauliflower rice because you can actually use stage one to make your own uh, homemade cauliflower rice, and then we just threw in wheatgrass, um, ginger and maybe another spice or two, but they are quite a bit different. Yeah, my parents have Meyer lemons and they've got um, a couple of different oranges and everything is in season right now, it's amazing. They grow their own pomegranates. Oh my nice. God. Mm -hmm. Listen, I need to move to somewhere where I could like have my own farm. And, yeah. Um, Seattle that's has a life. life. They're living the life. That's a good life. You need life. to move to Arizona and then I'll come visit you. <laughs> I just, I need to go somewhere where, where there's a beach. I love the water. Oh, so okay. not Arizona. <laughs> not Arizona. <laughs> I I can't I can't do without water for too long. No. Oh, I bet. You need yeah. to be somewhere too, like within one direct flight of Jamaica. Uh, so Costa Rica, you said? Close to J your home, Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica. Sorry, sorry. Let me turn. Okay, yes. So, like, Costa oh, Rica. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, like whenever I go home, so our house is actually like right across from the beach. Like it's like the, the beach is like right across the street. So, like in the mornings, um, I'll go with my mom. Like we'll just walk across to the beach and just like enjoy that. It's like the best. <laughs> it's the best life ever oh my god it sounds amazing yes and you know so everything is just wonderful so I'm going to pour it again so you guys could see the color so beautiful and you know what else I see or don't see is very much foam there's like hardly any no, no. not at all and that's one one another great thing about pure. Like you don't have to worry about that. No foam at all. <laughs> and you know what the foam is? It's the it's it's air getting into your juice and it's creating oh. air bubbles, which will increase the oxidation, which is what you don't want. So it's that makes me happy to see that there's very little foam. Like sometimes when people juice green this much foam and this much juice, you'll have more foam than juice. Exactly. That's yeah. True. And even though I could press this some more, I will show you what it looks like. I didn't even fold it over or anything. So yep. it still has more juice in it. But as you could see, I only pressed it a little bit. And look at the limes. 
Amazing. And look how flat this is and dry the pulp is. And there's, I could still press it even more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you really do get the most juice yeah. out of any other juicer. Yeah. With the peel. So that's red cabbage, key limes, and red seeded grapes. Yes. Bravo. I love it. Yeah. And it's delicious. It's really good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just have it with the red cabbage and the key lime or the limes, but I think with the grapes, it would be even better. I think it'd be even better. So that's what I'm going to do the next time. I'm going to do your recipe next time. And you need to get some, try some wheatgrass and try it and let me know what yeah. you think. I will definitely do that. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to, you know, do the sushi, the sushi method. <laughs> the sushi method, exactly. It works really good. It works, it works mm -hmm. good. And um, I would use a 12. Don't, a 10 or tw 10 maybe, but definitely a 12 is a good way to go for the okay. uh, for wheatgrass. Definitely for lemongrass or lemongrass if you're doing it too. So, <sighs> well, I can't thank you enough for being here. Thanks for having me, Jen. This was so fun. So fun. So fun. Thanks for sharing your recipe and for sharing all of our little bit of our history. I can't wait for this year, though. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with all the different things that we can do with the juicer. Yes, it's going to be a bigger and better year. And um, I'm so happy to be a part of the pure juicer family. Thank you, Kimmy. <laughs> like, you know, <clears throat> so um, yes, Jen, we have to do this again. Let's it's do been it again. a while and this was fun, but we definitely have to do this again. All right. All right. More Shanique in 2023. That's my, yeah. that's my, uh, my new year's resolution. <laughs> definitely. So cheers to that. Cheers to you. <laughs> cheers to everybody. We'll cheers. See you again. Bye. Thanks all for watching. Bye. Thanks, Doreen. Thanks, Doreen.